Hi there. For today's Embedded Systems Minute, let's talk headphone jacks. What could be simpler than that, you ask? Well, you'd be surprised. This is a smartphone jack. If we look at the close-up, we can see that it has four sections. That's because we need left and right headphones, we need speaker, and we need a ground return signal. This configuration is known as TRRS, or Tip Ring Ring Shield. This is an airline headphone. It only has stereo. So it has three segments. Tip Ring Shield, or TRS. So clearly, we don't know, necessarily, what's being plugged into our audio device. The audio device would need to check to see is it TRRS or TRS. But even if it's TRRS, we're not done because it turns out there's more than one way in which these are used. There's one configuration that's known as China. You can see the ground and the microphone. There's another configuration known as Apple. You can see the ground and the microphone there. And you'll notice that the two have been swapped. So, how do we handle this? So, once we've determined that we have a TRRS plug, we then have to take the additional step of figuring out whether it's China or Apple. We can use impedance tests in order to figure out which is the ground and which is the microphone. That means that every audio device that takes a headset jack not only has to detect TRS versus TRRS, it also has to go through a state machine to determine whether it's China or Apple. Why did this happen? No good reason. We had different groups in different parts of the world figuring out how to add stereo and microphone to headsets, they came up with two different solutions. They didn't talk to each other. And now it's too late. We can't force a big chunk of the world to get rid of their headsets. We can only build in capabilities into audio devices to handle the differences that we see. A little life lesson there, I think. Thanks a lot for listening.